Hi, my name is Master Conley. Today what I'm going to be teaching is uh, just basic blocks, the upper block, the lower block, the inner block, the outer block, and then uh, I have Mr. Bowman here today, which he'll be coming in and we'll kind of be demonstrating more application concepts that you can do with these blocks. Uh, we're going to do, cover a couple of different games that we can uh, play to show up in you either at home or games that we play in the, in the classroom so you kind of understand how they, how they work. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop into a, a forward stance. Now for a good forward stance is uh, my feet are not right behind each other. They're not like this at all. So if you look at my red line here, I don't put my feet on the same line. I want one foot off to one side of the red line, one foot on the other side of the red line here. My front knee should be bent enough to where I can barely see my toes. My toes should be totally covered by my knee right now. My upper block starts low here and it transitions up over my head. Now when I'm doing that, I'm going to snap my hand. You see my hand turning like this, snapping here. So when I hit an arm or something coming in at me, that energy transfers up and through and through into the other person here. So I'm coming in, snapping it. Now you notice the angle of my arm, slight angle, not straight like this, because if I'm blocking something, I don't want all that energy to come back down on top of my head. I want to kind of re-angle that energy so it slides off if I want it to come off to my side. As I step forward, I kind of bring my feet together, and then I switch my hands there. My feet come together, switch here. You notice my hands switching. My right, and as I step forward, my hands are going to come across, my other hand comes down, my other hand goes up from my upper block. Coming on in here, upper block. Now if I want to turn around, what I'm going to do, my back leg, which is my right leg right now, is going to pivot behind me. And as I turn, this hand's going to chamber here. I'm going to snap up the upper block here. Same thing, forward stance. Make sure you have the front knee bent. See my back leg is kind of solid. I'm not up on my tippy toes at all. Coming on in. Step forward, upper block. Step forward, upper block. Step forward, upper block. Now as I turn around here, I pivot that leg. Snap up the upper block. Now if I want to transfer this into a lower block, my lower block is going to come across my body and snap down here. Now I'm hitting my lower block with a hammer fist right now. You can do lower block with a uh, redirect palm strike here. You can also do lower block with an iron palm strike here. We'll cover those today. Primarily when we work in the forms more rigid in, in, uh, in lines, we do more this form. This is what we call like a form style, rigid style on our, on our lower block here. This teaches good muscle memory. So I come on in, I cross my body here, snap down, cross, snap. Try to get a good pop as you guys do those lower blocks. And if I want to turn around here, I'm going to chamber across my, uh, my shoulder here. My left leg this time is going to come back. I'm going to rotate my body, snap in my lower block. Step forward, lower, step forward, lower, step forward, lower. I'm going to turn around right now, chamber, turn here, lower block. If I want to do my inner block, my, next, my hands are going to chamber up high. So I'm coming in here as I step forward, up high, across my body. So we're doing inner block right now. You notice my hand rotating on that block. Now you're doing inner block. I'm doing it rigid with my blade of my arm across my whole body. But in real application, I can hit with my, my palm or I can punch with my fist. The main thing in inner block, it starts from one side and it goes across your center point. That's what makes it the inner block. From here across that center, the center points to the right down, a line right down in the middle of your body, from your nose all the way down. As long as my hand goes across that center line, it's an inner block. So right now I'm doing more of a form style inner block. So my hand, my other hand is chambered by my belt, so I know what to do with it. I bring it up high here, cross my face. Step forward, across my face. And you notice my hand pivoting, snapping in there. Chamber pivoting. Snap in there. If I want to turn around, I'm going to chamber my hand first here. My foot's going to pivot around. Turn my feet. Inner block here. Chamber my hand up. Snap it across. Same here. I'm going to turn around here. Chamber here. Inner block. Okay. So I have the inner block. Next block I'm going to be demonstrating is the outer block. The outer block. When I step forward here, I'm going to reach across. Almost like I'm pulling a uh, weapon out from my belt here. I'm going to come across my belt here and snap it out. Now, same with outer block. 
There are many different ways we can block without a block. Right now I'm hitting more with the knuckles, the back part of my knuckles, like a back fist into the limb. And this would be more of a limb destruction. And when I hit that arm, I'm going to be hitting into the muscle groupings and stuff like that. And I'll show that on Mr. Brown here in a minute. But this is the outer block with the knuckles, or outer block I hit with a hammer part of my hand. Hammer fist, or I can hit more with my blade of my, my arm or my elbow coming in the outer block. So all those are outer. So they're coming from the center point and moving out. So you don't have to come all the way across, but as we're doing it in a, in a, in a more of a traditional stance, traditional uh, forms way, we're going to cross the whole body. So I step forward, snap across, come forward, snap across, come forward, snap across. So I'm hitting more with the knuckles, and this one's going to be more the hammer fist down. Okay, as I turn around here, I've already got my, my hand jammed across, snap out the outer block, snap out the outer block, snap out the outer block. Snap the outer block. I'm going to turn around, that left leg, it's going to pivot. I'm already chambered my hand down here, outer block here. So we cover that upper block, that lower block, that outer block, and the inner block. So this valve is going to come on here, and what I want to do is I want to just kind of demonstrate on um, the upper block. So let's just say I'm dealing with a situation where uh, my hands are up, I'm more defensive than my hands are down my, my doll, not in a self defense situation. So uh, this would not be a good, a good uh, way to deal with self injury because my hands are down and if you came in and punched me here, there's no way to bring my hands up fast enough. But I do my, when I do my upper block here, I'm going to do more of a redirect. You notice my, he, my head will bob down a little bit. So I'm not, I'm not starting from way down here and then coming up. And those upper blocks more of a fighting position here, I just parry it up. Same with the other end, I parry it up. So I don't commit myself too much. Coming in here, go ahead and come in again. Now you notice I'm hitting with a blade, but I can also hit more with my elbow, so I'm hitting with the tip of my elbow here, or the blade of my arm here. So I'm not not just the hand. So just doing upper block. Now with upper block, I can do two in a row. So he's just coming, he's punching in me. One, two, let's come in and strike. Okay, or one, two, come in for my choke here. Okay, I can from here come on this side, Mr. Brown. He's coming and he's punching in and here, boom, oh, here. I can reach hand here. So I use those as redirects. I'm never, I'm never too committed. I come in, boom, here, boom, here. I come in, upper block here, punch here, same, kick here. So I got a lot of, I got a lot, a lot of opening, just on the upper block. Now, now I, I already taught hitting with the blade of the arm, and you notice when I hit that arm, I snap that arm up. See that rotation coming in, boom, I hit. So I don't want to just come in and go, there's no power there, none at all. I want to come in and go, my goal when I hit someone's arm, see a little bit of the red mark there, I want to, I want to make sure that, that I, I, I hit all these tendons in here. So he's got a tight fist, so he's punching at me. But if I can attack these tendons, he's coming here, here, boom. That time I hit with ox jaw, you see his hand popped open. This is an ox jaw hit. This is like you, you bend your, your wrist just like this and you hit with that bone right here. And again, into the muscle grouping here. You can do that, let's say he's uh, more of a surprise that caught me off guard, my hands are a little lower, boom, I come in upper block here with my extra. So that one's like straight up, like try to get paint the fence here, like this, boom, up like that. So that's your upper, that's your upper block. Okay, so I can take, I can take uh, my lower block right now. So if we did a lower block, we'd come on this side, Mr. Vaughn. Um, if you were to come in with a roundhouse kick, now if I do nothing, boom, he hits me. So I want to do is maybe I want to move back a little bit and I want to just pass it by me. So I come in, boom, I pass it by me. I just, I just want to just get away from that kick coming at me. Or what I can do is I can do like a brush trap and then strike into his leg. So my brush trap would look like this. I'm coming in, one, two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap. There's a perennial move right here. You know, so this is my thumb right now. I'm just pressing on it. I can take him right down to the ground. So what I, what I do not want to do. What I do not want to do when I'm doing my lower block is to try to stop his leg from coming in. There's no way you're going to want to stop someone's leg from coming in. He's coming in with a lot of force here. There's, I don't want to do this. His leg is bigger than my arm. It's, it's, it's stronger than my arm. It's got a lot of energy coming on in. I don't want to meet hard style or hard stuff. Okay, it's not really what you want to do. A lot of the, lot of the, uh, the blocks we teach are redirects. So as he's coming in here, as he's, as he's coming, I slap it. Boom, I hit the back of the leg here. Or a brush strike on that one. Okay, that's brush strike. So he's coming in here, one, two. Okay, there's another, there's another one I can do is he's coming in here, I can come in, 
I can do more of a trap. And that's with my lower, that's with my lower block again. Again, it's, it's how you move in. So I want to trap that leg here. Boom, strike his, his arm here. I can come in and sleep on the ground. Strike into the leg here. All that from the lower block. So you have to have a point of reference. So we have four main blocks in the martial arts. We got the upper, we got the lower, we have the inner and the outer. Next one we're going to cover is the inner block. As he's doing the inner block, um, again, remember how we taught it traditionally, it was like, boom, across. And our hands are down. Again, when we're in a self-defense situation, I just slap it all the way. Now you think about this. When someone's punching at you, how far do you need to move their hand to be safe? You see, I have it coming into my, my face here. How far do I need to move it? Do I need to move it this far? Or it's coming linear, so it's going through my head, so punching going through are just three or four inches. You notice how I'm hitting it right now, I'm hitting it with my, my palm. There's more of a more of a relaxed or soft style of redirecting. Or a parry. Our boxers will come on in to just hit a little bit. They come in and they don't commit themselves ever too far. Where a lot of times in traditional martial arts, bad muscle memories are, are happening. The super strong chamber, and this is the only way you learn your inner block. We do it that way for, for some training purposes, for muscle training, but for fighting training, the inner block is just more, just a little bit. So I have a lot open to me. I, could, I can do inner block this way, or uh, if uh, he were to punch me and I use this hand here, I can strike in the arm. I'll come on this side here. So he's punching in here, and he's like, come in, boom, I hit in with the, with the palm. It's called iron palm strike. I come in and I strike in here. Um, I can also do uh, what's called limb destruction. Limb destruction is, is where I'm striking into the limb to destroy it. I can come in and strike in more with my fist. Again, what makes the inner block or inner, uh, inner defense? It has to cross my center line. So I'm coming from way out here, coming across my nose, boom, striking in. Now that time I hit more with the blade, like the hammer part of my hand, boom, here. That hurts. I'm hitting right in the bicep muscle here. So again, inner block, palm, inner block, more rigid, inner block, attacking the uh, the bicep muscle, okay, so all that. And look what I have open to me here. I can, I can strike into the, the head here, so after that inner, in the inner block. The last one to be, to be covered is the outer block. As he's coming on in here, he's punching into me here, and I'm coming in outer block here. Again, I'm hitting with my, my knuckles. I'm in this hand here. I'm hitting with my knuckles here. So this is that, more of the knuckle strike here. I can also strike here, here, okay? If I wanted to add both of my hands, and I go boom. Strike in outer block, inner strike, grab and strike into the hands here. Okay, so that's working all that outer, those inners, those uppers, those lowers, more from a uh, realistic stance of, of sparring. Now, there are some games we play in our academy, and they're just games to sharpen the skills, uh, make it fun, uh, especially for people who've never been uh, introduced to, to the realm of sparring. Uh, one of the games we call is derp. Now, derp is just a fun game of me coming in and touching with an open hand, not hard, I'm not, I'm not slapping my partner, just coming in, just tagging the side of the head or tagging the side of the head. Now, we're gonna get the game of three. And so my partner has three chances to derp me. And so we call it derp. We don't wanna call it smacking or hitting because we don't wanna train that way in, in the academy, not at the lower belt level. So as he's coming in here, I come in, boom, I block outer. I block out, so I'm just working my outers. And my partner's trying to come in a little faster this time. One, two, three, and then it's gonna be my turn to come in. I got him. So now it's his turn again to come in. One, two, oh, he got me. I got him back. Ready, so coming in, ready to go. One, two, oh, he got me. Now, so he's coming over the top right now. So my outer box is not, not so effective. What I wanna do is he's coming over the top again. What kind, of, what kind of redirect do I have right now? I have more of an upper. I have more of an upper. So as we're, playing, as we're playing this game now, so now I have two uh, areas I have to worry about. My, each of my sides and the top of my head. So he's coming in, outer, upper, upper again. And I come back to him, here, here, here. It's a little fun game. We kind of move around as we do this here. And he's coming, whoop, your turn. Go ahead, one, two, three. One, two, three. Good, I'm coming in, ready to go. One, two, three, good. So it's just a fun game that we work on, working more, keeping our hands up. So as we are learning how to have a good defensive posture, we wanna keep our hands more in front of our face. We don't wanna cover our eyes, I wanna block my vision. I wanna be able to see through. At the same time, I have my hands up. 
Now I can close my hands and do a fist or open them. I like my hands open a lot because it gives me the ability to grab into that, that person to go into my locks and stuff like that. So that's one of the games we play is dirt. The other one is called center touch. The center touch is I can touch anywhere in Mr. Bauman's center, uh, above the uh, solar plex area, anywhere into the chest and sternum area. So as we're playing this, we purposely leave ourselves open. We purposely kind of leave ourselves a little open like this. And it's a little bit of a game. So Matt's coming out in here. I block in. I can block in, block in. Good. So I'm working my inner blocks. Just, and now you notice my body. I just turn my body just a little bit. I turn my body just a little bit. So again, the rules of three. He comes on in, tries to do it three times. Maybe I go one, I go two, I go three. He said, well, those are all inner blocks. And I do the same thing to Matt. Watch it with his hand. Matt, okay, I got him. Uh, my distraction technique, it worked that time. So he's going to go one, two. Oh, you got me that time. I got him. Ready? One, two. Oh, you got me on two. So again, now we're going to start moving around here. So we're getting comfortable with that game here. Come in one. Oh, I got him on two. Ready to go. One, two, three. Now, we don't want to, when you're working this with your partner, don't get yourself in the habit of trying to run away from them. You really want to you want to learn how to face your attacker and be more of a martial art, be, a, be a, able to fight and be able to defend yourself. So this is good training. You don't have to worry about getting hurt on this. This is just tagging in. I'm using the open hand. I'm not, we're not punching. We're just tagging in with the tips of our fingers. That's all we're going to do. Now, the other one is low tag. And low tag is below the belt, not, not the groin area, but just the legs. Anything above the knee, uh, right around the belt level, I can tag on into. And so he's going to try to take my legs. He's coming in here, and I'm going to work on those those lower blocks. You can see they're not they're not like rigid anymore. They're more like a tap. They're coming and tapping in. They're tapping in. So he's coming in here. Boom, tapping, tapping here, tapping here. So I'm going to go for him right now. See if I can sneak in there. Good one, two, and three. Got it. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Good. He got it. So it's just learning how to move in alone. I know we're doing our stances, we're starting to drop them down. We're not so upright. So sometimes in the martial arts, we, we like to tap the legs too. There are a lot of pressure points in the legs that we can go into. So kind of the, the fun little three little games that we can play to work on those, uh, those four basics. Now, the next segment, uh, at a white, yellow, orange belt level, we like you to become proficient at. Uh, they're, they're called reaction drills. Now, Again, reaction drills aren't going to be, you're not going to do them in a uh, sparring match. But they train your mind to be able to fire quicker and quicker, to be able to recover, to know where to put your hands after you block and in, in return with a punch. So reaction drills. The first one we're going to do is uh, same punch. So he's just coming in here. I'm going to do my inners, my inner block, and my punch to him. And he's going to do the same thing back to me. So we're kind of stuck in a loop here, blocking and punching blocking and punching, and we're stuck only on one side. So right now, Matt's only punching with his right hand, and I'm only punching with my right hand, and I'm only blocking with my left, he's only blocking with his left. So this is good if that's the only way I'm gonna ever receive a punch, but I know, I've been doing this for a couple of years now, um, I know that Matt has a capability coming with his other hand. So I wanna train my other hand too. So I'm gonna block and punch, block and punch, block and punch. This is just working, just a really basic learning how to punch, and something coming back at you and blocking and punching and blocking. So that's the, the same side. And there's a cross hand block. So you come on, this is the outer block. So I can come in this way, or I can come in off this way, and I'm gonna redirect it and punch back in. The now I like back fist on these a lot. So these work better with more of a back fist. And again, we're stuck on one side because this is only a one-two pattern. So I'm gonna switch. You notice how I switched there, I grabbed. The hand that is punching me right now, I'm just kind of pushing it down. If I want to switch sides, I'll sudden grab here, I pull it down here, and all of a sudden I return back with the other hand here. So we're coming in, one, two, one, two, one, two. So brush, back fist, brush, back fist, brush, back fist, and switch again. Here we go. Okay, so that's the cross hand or the outside block one. Then there's brush trap strike. So when you're learning this, a lot of times I say, say it out loud, say either one, two, three, our brush trap strike, our right, left, right, whatever works good for you. Um, so I highly recommend when you're learning things for the very first time, just kind of say them out loud yourself. So I'm gonna say it loud. 
Matt's punching into me. I'm going to have same, and I'm going to have cross, and I'm going to have punch. And he's going to have one, two, two, three. And I'm going to have one, two, three back to him. One, two, three. Same cross punch. Same cross punch. Same cross punch. He's got cross, same punch. So he's got the other side of the pattern. So as he's punching into me, I got my same, I have my cross, I have my punch. And look at Mr. Bauman here. Cross, same, and here comes his punch. Again, how far do I need to move it? Just a little bit. So as we're coming in here. Now, we can switch the size of the pattern. So if I wanted to do this, I can come in, cross, same punch. Now he's stuck on the other side of the pattern. Very good. Speed it up a little bit. You get good at this, you can actually try to tag your partner in the head. And the reward is if you get in there. So it's punching in. I get him. All right, maybe he doesn't want me to hit him, so he goes one, two, three. Very close to him. I switch the pattern on him to throw him off a little bit. And that's how we're just kind of working our, our angles and moving around here. Now, I'm up, we're primarily going to the back side of the arm. So I'm attacking the back side and coming on in. This is the, the preferred side, so I can could, I could come in and strike in. I can come into my lock, lock and move around. Or I can come on in, coming in here, right in here. It opens them up. So, you know, you don't want to sit there and stuck in a, in a loop. So, more of a fighting strategy, strike them in. Okay, or I can go on the inside of the arm. I'm going to go straight, straight. So he's punching in, you go one, two, three. Straight in here, you punch him. We do open hand strike. So coming in, one, two, three, or we do a, a reaction go on this. So on the inside, one, two, three, he goes inside, one, two, three. One, two, three, inside, one, two, three. So it's a brush trap strike drill, but you notice I'm on the inside, he's on the inside. And we're stuck on. If I want to switch my pattern, now I just switched it. I'm going uh, same cross punch. Good. There you go. Good. I can switch back over to the back side of the arm here. Good. And that's our brush trap strikes. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with them. You can brush trap, um, coming in, brush trap, brush trap here. I can come in, boom, my knee is dry. I can come in, brush trap, grab roundhouse here. I can come on in, brush trap, lock them. Okay, a lot of stuff you can do with brush trap strike, but what's important, what's really important on this, uh, through this testing cycle, you work your basic blocks, you work it rigid, your upper block, your lower block, your inner block, your lower block, play around with the games, uh, derp, center touch, lower touch, and just get used to moving your body and protecting uh, different zones of your body, the upper zone, the middle zone, and the lower zone, okay? Keep training hard. Uh, look forward to seeing you in class. Thank you again, again, Master Conley and Matt Bowen. Thank you very much, Mr. Bowen. Good. Good. And see you.